today's lesson is about comparison. Basically, since we are born, we are taught to compare. Right? When we are children, we are given toys to help us compare things. Our brains are wired for it. Right? We compare shapes and colors and sounds and textures. And we continue to discern the differences between things as we age. It's actually a very natural, helpful, useful tool to have. So it is of no fault of our own that we apply this really important skill of being able to compare and make differences to compare ourselves to others. And while comparing things like we are taught when we are small children, like comparing colors and tastes and smells and, and different textures, all that kind of stuff, that's useful stuff. But when it comes to comparing ourselves to others, this is the comparison that I'm addressing today. I argue that that is never a useful, helpful use of your skill of being able to discern differences between things. So, I have a tool for you, and here it is. The only comparison you ever need when it comes to comparing yourself is to compare your current thought with the thought of your inner guide. That loving voice inside of you, the true you, the real you, that is connected with your divinity. It is your divinity. All love, all knowing you, right? So you can stop while you're scrolling through and you have a judgmental thought about someone else and you're comparing. And you can shift, right? Because I can't just say, stop comparing, right? Because anytime you tell someone to stop thinking something, that's not how it works. You've got to replace the thought. Because if I say to you, stop thinking about the color blue, what color are you thinking about? Blue. But if I say, start thinking about yellow, you can think about yellow. So here, here it is. Here's your switch. You're scrolling through and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I will never be as good as this person, or whatever the thought is that comes to your mind. You can pause. Judgment free, that's a thought you had, whatever. Now, you can compare that thought with the thought your inner being is having right now which is, you are love, you are perfect in every way, you are divine, your inner being has thoughts about how wonderful and perfect and beautiful you are, how you are exactly where you need to be doing exactly what it is you need to do. If you can't yet connect with that voice, if you haven't been practicing connecting with your intuition, your inner guide, your, your inner being, whatever you want to call it, that's okay. You know, because I'm, I'm telling you and many teachers would tell you, it is thinking thoughts like you are perfect, you are loved, you are whole, you are divine. The energy that creates worlds is within you. You are source in human form. Right? So when you're having that comparison thought, replace that thought with the only comparison you need. And so the thought that you are outwardly having in comparison and the thought your inner being is having in that moment. And from there, you can choose your inner being's thought instead. I want to challenge those of you who may be thinking comparison is useful, comparison is helpful because it helps us grow or it helps us overcome things, etc., etc. No matter what, you're always going to grow. That's a byproduct of being alive, right? You can grow through pain and you can grow through love. We get to make that choice. Comparison and putting ourselves down, seeing us as better than or worse than others, is a painful way to grow. It's based on an illusion that we are not all good enough, that we are not all inherently perfect. It's based on an illusion. Instead, we can grow through love. We can grow through choosing our inner voices, thoughts instead. The only comparison you ever need is to compare your current thought with the thought your inner guide is having. That's it.